more lunch, lunch break. break. Pizza. 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 I would ask for a piece, but um, I can't but... get cheese. <laughs> oh. um, I would ask for a piece, but Taylor doesn't share food. <laughs> it's you kind of admit it yourself, right? Friends reference. What? It was. What's Taylor doesn't share food. I did not grow up watching Friends. I like the show. I think it's great. I think everyone that loves it should love it. And I, I, I try to catch as many references as I can. But I have real friends. Ooh. Or, or hey, we have real friends. We have real friends, friends too. Right? Let's talk about real friends. Wait, only if you, like, we're your real friends, right? Yeah, of course. Yes. Okay, see, we can talk about it. Can I ask it. you a question, Wes? What? Are we your best friends? Okay, <laughs> um, Yeah. No, no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Okay, you said. You hesitated. No, no. Well, well, you're asking with the pretense that I can have multiple best friends. Are we your best friends? So yes, you're mm. my best friends. Wait, wait. I have a lot of best friends. First of all, backing up. How do you classify like mm -hmm. a best friend? I'm not one that is like, oh, my best friend. Like some people like. They know, they have their go-to mm -hmm. best friend, right? Mm -hmm. I admit, I don't have that. It's hard for me to like place someone as the best friend. I used to be against like calling someone mm -hmm. a best friend for years. Mm -hmm. like, until recently actually, but yeah, I, I refuse to call anyone my best, my best friend, even if I felt like they were my like soulmate yeah. or like best friend. Like. It's because you don't want to be unfair to your other friends, mm -hmm. is that why? Yeah, in a way, yeah. Well, no, it was like superstitious too because I feel like anytime I called someone my best friend, then something always happened and then we had a falling out and then they just weren't. Oh, mm -hmm, that sounds know? like commitment issues. That's friendship commitment issues. No, it's. No, that happened to me twice. Right? So right? I was like, so okay, okay, no more best no, friends. No more best friends. <laughs> like, and if they are your best friend, you should be on a level with them where they don't need that label of being your best friend. They just know. What if they're yours but you're not theirs? I never mentioned it. <laughs> that's, it's like awkward, awkward territory. I think that's happened to me. Oh. I just never would say it. Like they'd be like, oh, hi, best friend. And I'm like, hi. Hi, you. <laughs> Do you have a best friend? Yeah. What makes them your best friend? Is it your mom? Mm. She's for sure one of them. Aww. She's like the greatest of the bestest of the friends. I think a best friend is someone that you can tell anything to without fear of being judged or made fun of. But then it's also someone that you connect with on a like humor and an intellectual level where you can joke about anything, you get each other's jokes. Yeah, not too time. smart, but also like just equally as dumb as you as well. You know? <laughs> or <laughs> as equally as smart as you. Yeah. So when you talk about politics you understand everything. You can watch like CNN and be like, I don't get it. Me <laughs> neither And those are my Boom. those are my friends. <laughs> That is a best friend. What happened to surrounding yourself with people that are better so you can like... No, I don't... don't call like... those best friends. You call those better friends. <laughs> well, no, I think your best friend should challenge you to be like a better person. But not too much. Just dumb enough. Just dumb enough to get you and how dumb you personally are, but then smart enough to push you to want to be just like a little bit more sophisticated, you know? Yeah. I used to try to call people best friends, but then I realized I saw other people's best friends and like the way that they <laughs> friends with each other, like like they like told each other everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh wait, I don't actually do that. Maybe we're not best friends. So I just have friends. But if you think about it, of all the friends, like there's people that are better friends than others. Than the, the, but they're not the best friends. And going back to what you said, I think that is a, it's a good warning like, oh shoot, like those two best friends are way closer than me and my best friend. Maybe we're not. Yeah. But as you get older, you realize that people show friendship in different ways. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you can't go off of someone else's standard and of what- You don't know what their friendship is like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It might be worse than yours. All my close friends, or a good chunk of them, I could call them my best friends. Mm, okay. Oh. So multiple. I feel like each best friend is like different, you know? Uh, oh, you like, you like but segmented feel... your best friend. <laughs> no, no, no. Like each <laughs> occupy a different part but of that like, role. I feel like we all have a very deep friendship. We can talk about like, uh -huh. Deep things and stuff. Best that relationship talk friend. Best that yeah, career yeah, kinda, talk kinda, friend. Yeah, exactly. Best like, that I can joke with you, friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. But they're all like very genuine, mm -hmm. very real. Your best slash good friends, like same sex or opposite sex? Usually same sex. Really? I think mine's split, actually. Mm -hmm. That's good for you guys. You know what? <laughs> also, there's a difference between like friendships really? with guys is very different than friendships with girls, I think. You got the bros. Yeah. Most of my friendship with guys, like, they, they're okay with like not communicating that frequently, 
but like they still value each other a lot, mm -hmm. but they don't like verbally say this stuff think, a lot. I think I'm that guy. Yeah, I have a lot of friends like that. Yeah. Versus girls, I notice like you guys like to be updated and in the loop consistently, right? Like it's like, hey, we haven't you haven't texted me in a week. You actually do get. You notice that, right? No. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do not. But then I go out of my way to initiate. Okay. And be like, hey, mm. like, what's up? Like, but yeah, I think I do get kind of angsty. Do you text your girlfriends like, hey, how are you doing? No. No. <laughs> That's weird. What did, what did you do today kind of stuff? No. Oh. It's I don't a, do that with guys. Hey, look at this weird meme. <laughs> and then oh, it okay. goes into like, oh, kind, I did this yeah. today. I am really bad at texting people back or and I also don't really like talking on the phone so unless you have me in person it's really hard no but I feel like a lot of my friendships and these are kind of like the telltales of like these are really good friendships is you can go long periods of time without talking but it feels like no time has passed in between yeah that's, so that's high on my list yeah for sure <laughs> what friendship means changes as you get older like, it does yeah like for, for sure. like going back I could say I had a best friend it very clearly Michael Gleason from Kindergarten to fifth grade, we played pretend together. We were we were uh, F fourteen Tomcats. Oh, he was, he was the he's kid. a goose to your he was, Maverick. He was the goose. He was also like a really good actor. And no way. <laughs> yeah, he, he did theater and stuff. Were you still? You were, you didn't do video though. No, no, no. I mean, I was in. You could have done video. <laughs> I could have done videos with him. And stuff. <laughs> I like we'd walk home together, and then I'd go to his place, and he had Nintendo and I'd play, and then he was the friend that was like. Mom, can I stay over like at Michael's place to like get dinner because you wanted to like play longer and then in middle school we, we That's when you started taking different classes in middle school You make other friends in other classes and then my friend Gary would probably be like m my best friend then throughout high school And now it's it's actually you know I'm, the people I'm closest with is what you said where I can go home back to my hometown after months and months and just catch up and feel totally like I know this person and mm -hmm. I can I can just like unwind with this person. Do you guys have any best friends from when you were like younger to like today? I have friends from beginning of high school, but mm. nothing before that. Cause I think like back then, what you consider friendship is kind of like you're in the same class and mm -hmm. because you see them every day, you're best friends mm -hmm. or something. So it's like more proximity. Like, it's definitely kind proximity of, yeah, and frequency. When you're younger. Mm. That's the thing, like I'm still talking to my my really, really good friends from high school mm -hmm. that I were friends with even through middle school. Oh. But it's very apparent that distance and like college has changed us as individuals mm -hmm. and that our friendship is just defined by the fact that we used to be really good mm -hmm. friends. It feels really weird, it makes me sad, but it's also just really natural. So the answer is yes, but I don't consider them my best friends these days. You can very confidently say that they were like a huge part of your experience growing up. Mm -hmm. And I think that means just as much. Well, growing up and growing with or out of your friends, it's always the weirdest feeling or realization when you have like a really good friend go to like being an acquaintance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's probably like and, me and Michael now. And it's like, it's such a hard thing to wrap your mind around and accept because at one point in life, like they knew everything about you. They knew yeah. you like mm -hmm. inside and out. And now it's kind of like, you barely know this person but you know like you said like they're always going to be a friend yeah. that play that role in your life so you're still good you know why there's guilt now there's more guilt because there's so many ways you can still be in touch uh -huh. and if you oh, choose yeah. not to yeah. it, then, it's like an active choice yeah it's an active choice you didn't try to follow up but mm -hmm. it's so much harder to keep in touch it's not just like there's a lot of means to do it a lot of time and energy that mm -hmm. you can put towards a specific individual just to maintain it and new people consistently come into your life <laughs> no? I mean, it's like, for me, I feel like I filter through that. If they are genuine and like, mm -hmm. if they will be like that lifetime friend. It's like, I already have my group. But well, not like it's it's set, but it's kind of like, there's so many new people and I'm like, are you really, are you really my friend? I feel like I need more time to like, know. You date your friends. Kind of. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you stay around. Are you in it for the long haul? <laughs> are you going to commit? I think the, tr the the thing with that is you have to just accept it and not let that define what the friendship is. Like just because you lose touch doesn't mean you're a bad friend. It We've had mm -hmm. some people, friends that had bad qualities mm -hmm. and withheld them from being better friends or people that you'd want to put energy into. Okay, yeah, bad friends exist. You want someone that of course won't judge you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that is the first thing. You want someone that makes you a better person, mm -hmm. right? 
that'll get behind what you do, but also challenge you if you make mistakes. Yeah, here's a red flag. When you're like hanging out with a friend and they start telling a story, and then you're like, oh yeah, dude, I, I was there. And they were like, oh yeah, you were there. And oh no. Were you there? I know someone that does that. Usually like one time is like, fine, that's funny. Like, so I forget too, like I was caught up in the moment. <laughs> but if it's like repeated, it's like, dude, you don't remember that I was there, bro. <laughs> Bad friend. Maybe when they criticize your own lifestyles, I feel like yeah. that's yeah. bad. Like it's okay yeah. that they yeah. leave it that to they do mind. it, but if they get on you, for yeah. like you're no. Fun. Yeah, yeah, they're like, yeah, she like, doesn't drink. Exactly. You're not yeah. a good person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, cool. that's so, yeah. Uh -uh. Dude, I have some friends that flake. Oh, this is kind of like a pet bad. peeve, also, but like. Friends that flake, pretty bad. Yeah, actually mine too, because I feel like now, like we're so busy that it takes forever to schedule like a hangout or something. Yeah. It's like, okay, we finally found a date after like hours of scheduling. And then like day before it's like, oh, something came up. I'm like, ah. Yeah, it's like, you know how hard it is to maintain <laughs> friendships these days? It's fine, it's fine. You don't want someone that is too competitive. For or your compares intention. all the time. If you're doing something, you want them to just be happy for you, mm -hmm. I guess, and not not feel as if it's a threat to to what they're doing. But I think that's very natural too, because when you're when you do have such a close friend, of course you can you're gonna compare like we're so close. I think it's once you get like bitter and like start getting yeah. angry mm -hmm. about it, then it's like, well, you're taking you're taking this yeah. too competitively. So like, I cherish loyalty. Like I said, that's my biggest thing. I like loyal friends. I think I really cherish friends who are non-judgmental and are just very open-minded. I think for me, I think just being genuine is really... <gasps> that's good. I don't know, just being real. Genuine. Straight up. No, yeah. that's, that's good. I'm gonna say um, someone that's positive. That's okay. good. That's good. Oh. I think someone that um, can see the good in things. Someone that, that, that can always be an additional perspective to mm -hmm. whatever you're doing. I think, I think that's always helpful. Let us know in the comments what you value in a friend and uh, we'll like it if we agree. Maybe there's something we haven't thought of. There's probably many yeah. things that yeah. we haven't thought of. Or take for granted. Thanks for watching guys. Lunch break every Thursday and Day. for recess every Tuesday. So check it out. Bye, Bye. friends. Bye friends. Bye best friends. Bye friends. Bye, friends.